I just want to briefly discuss these isometric sketches which are available uh, on a sheet on the VLE. There are two pages of them and we think they're a really excellent way to learn the different ways you can use Inventor to model things. Um, you'll notice that they don't have any dimensions on them. That's deliberate. We're not so worried about the actual sizes. It's more can you get uh, the different shapes which are involved here. So um, I'm going to pick maybe this one here uh, that's the second row furthest to the right um, and I'm just going to try and draw that in Inventor and uh, see if I can do it in uh, more than one uh, different ways. Okay I'll go new uh, standard millimeter eye part and remember millimeters are the way to go even though we're not using dimensions here it just it's always best to get into good habits and not use the wrong dimensions for later and I think you can see down in the bottom left corner it's loading up um, some of the different add-ins that it's using I know this can be a slightly slow moment And now I'm ready to start my part. Um, just to remind you what it looks like, it's this one here that I'm trying to make. So I'll start a 2D sketch. Um, I guess if I draw... Um, it, it doesn't really matter which of the three planes you draw on, but you tend to pick something that's going to be the, the floor of your object, the, the bit that sits on the table or on the base, and that would be drawn on the XZ plane. So instead I'm going to draw on the XY plane. Um, and what I'm going to do is just draw what I see as being the outline of this shape using some straight lines. Uh, so there's a horizontal line along the bottom, then a line at an angle a vertical line, uh, another horizontal line, struggling to get that to snap horizontal, there we go, horizontal line, um, and now let's do another uh, diagonal line like so, and a uh, vertical line closes it off and brings me back to where I started. And I'm going to say I've finished that sketch. Um, and you'll notice that some of this is unconstrained. That's because we haven't put any dimensions in, but that's fine. So these two lines here are navy blue in mine, and these are black, which means they would really like to be told their dimensions. But we're not going to bother with that for the time being. What I'll do instead is to extrude, and one of the things when you're doing these exercises is to think about which kind of extrusion is going to help you the most. Um, for some uh, exercises where there's going to be symmetry you can take advantage of, you'll want to um, have the symmetric extrusion. Here actually extruding in one direction is fine, and the way I've drawn it that's got the wrong kind of aspect ratio. If I make this 100 millimeters and just zoom out a bit, that looks a bit longer than what's on my sheet. I'm going to go with 50. And that's starting to have the same kind of shape, I think, as what's drawn on my um, on my paper here. So I'm going to say OK. Um, and now just to flag up, I was trying for this one and I've got something that's similar but I need to cut away um, and so what I'll do uh, I will say I'm going to sketch on that face there and I'll draw the following triangle in fact um, it's going to be difficult because I, I want to take in this point and this point uh, so what I'm going to do is project geometry and I'm going to project this line here. So now that line is available to me in my sketch. And I hope that that means if I draw... Uh, you see now when I um, when I drag this other end of this vertical line down, eventually it's going to snap and tell me that I'm cutting away a right-angled triangle or that I'm drawing a right-angled triangle. 
So that's one of these times when it's useful to be able to project geometry. And what I've got now is that right angled triangle, one side, two sides, three sides. And I'll finish that sketch and I'll say extrude again. And this time what I want to do is cut away material. I don't want to cut away all of my... Oh, I've never seen that function before. Let's just cancel that. Extrude, uh, cut away material. And I'm not going to cut away 50 millimeters. Let's say I'll cut away 40 millimeters. Um, or actually just to make it look pretty similar. Go with about 43. Okay. And now I think, I don't think it's too much of an exaggeration to say that this part I've drawn looks like this part here that I was hoping to draw. I want to just finish by showing you that in Inventor there's always more than one way you can do things. If I say new part, um, start 2D sketch, I'll sketch on there. I'm going to do this reasonably quickly because it's just really to show you the, the final result rather than um, any uh, bit of how I'm drawing out the lines which you've already seen. So draw a line, um, try and draw the rough shape. But now what I'm going to do is rather than draw this by a subtractive manufacture, I guess, where I'm taking away from what I've drawn, I'm going to draw this additively. Um, So I'm going to draw that shape, and I guess I could just move this just to try and match up with what I'm looking at on the original information. That looks something like the end profile. I can finish that sketch. I can extrude it, um, and if I go for 100, um, I've obviously drawn this on a different scale just from zooming out and zooming in. Um, that doesn't really matter, I just want to get it to look approximately right. Something like that is good. And now what I can do, uh, if I just flip it around, again I'm, I'm using the uh, shift key and the middle mouse button, the scroll wheel, I've got the scroll wheel held down, shift and hold down the scroll wheel and I can move this in three dimensions. And what I'm going to do is to draw on this face here, and in fact, I'll use that same project geometry tool that I used before. So I'm going to project in this line and this line. Now I can stop projecting geometry and instead draw some geometry. Again, I've mentioned this in a previous tutorial here, yellow dot, yellow dot, green dot. I can zoom in. The green dot is telling me I've locked into the end of a line. So I want to get that green dot. Same thing here. And I'll hit escape. And now what I've got is a, a another uh, right-angled triangle, but instead of cutting away a right-angled triangle, I'm adding in a right-angled triangle. And you'll see what I mean by that in a second. I'll say to extrude it, I want to go the other direction, and I guess this is probably going to extrude about 70 millimeters or something like that. I'll click OK. And if I just, uh, if I click Home, it's not quite giving me the view I want. You can see that although I've drawn these two parts in different ways, uh, I've ended up with the same part essentially twice.